guys, welcome back to my channel, Summer Barnes here. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. And I am back with another video with the lovely Jay here. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how this lovely woman styled me. I'm so excited. <laughs> anyway, so Jade and I have different styles, yet similar styles. However, I always like what she has, and she sometimes likes what I have. <laughs> I like about 50% of what she likes, 50, 60. One thing that I've learned over the past year and a half or so when we vamping my wardrobe after having my babies, you'll hear him in the background, is that um, <laughs> something I learned from the Notorious KIA here on YouTube is that when you're build when she's building an outfit, she chooses a focal point. So it could be a pair of shoes and you build the outfit around that or a top or a jacket, whatever the case may be. So I pretty much took that and ran with it and that's how I get my inspiration and style my outfits. I have a focal point and then I build around that. So when you're putting together an outfit, what do you, like how do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just gonna hear my kids. That's just that's just what it is. You're like, y'all ain't gonna see me, but you gonna hear me. <laughs> so um, yeah, what's your inspo, or how do you like to put together an outfit? That's a good question. I've never even thought about it. Um, I think this time I went based on. So initially, I, we were I was supposed to style her based on what she has in her closet, and I was like. Nah, sis, because there's some stuff in your closet that you need, in my opinion, mm -hmm. that you don't have. Um, so I was like, I'm gonna bring a few pieces and then we can style them with what you have in your closet. So the outfits came out to be like a collaborative. Right. So this time, um, I, I did the style based on what I had um, and worked it with her. So I, I pretty, pretty much put our two styles together. Well, when you're dressing yourself, like yeah. how do you... How do you put together an outfit? Like, what's your inspo? Where I'm going and the look that I want to give. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, for example, if I'm going on vacation and, you know, there's specific events that we're going to be doing, mm -hmm. then I'm going to pick my outfits based on that. Um, but if I know I'm going out, yeah, then I'm doing it based on that. I don't want to go with a sexy going out look. So I'm going to go with a, you know, a, a cute and classy type of look. So I want to go with a, just a comfortable you know, nightlife type of look. So yeah. it's pretty much that. It's it's never about a specific piece. And that's probably why I, I, I be having to try things on yeah. as, I'm, as I'm packing or whatever so I can see how it looks first. And yeah. I be having to swap stuff out. So, yeah. She told, during this process, she told me that my wardrobe <laughs> looks like a flea market. <laughs> so can I say you, that? Yes. Can you elaborate oh, on what you what you meant by it's that? So, it's, it's so much stuff in there. Oh god. But it ain't nothing in there at the same time. So that's oh, how I feel. I was like, I don't have much to work with. Like you got a lot of stuff. Yeah. But I'm like, she felt like I didn't have a lot of like basics, which I think are important to like to build an outfit, which I probably could stand to use a few more basics. But for me, I like. I like color, but I also like muted colors. So I don't do like bright colors like that. I'm really, I'm really into neutrals, but one thing I really like is prints and patterns and mixing prints and patterns. So when she was going through my wardrobe, a lot of stuff had, like it was nothing simple. Yeah, you know? and I'm, I'm really simple with my uh, basic pieces. Mm -hmm. Those are timeless. Yeah. So you can mix and match and, you know, wear them this year or wear them, you know, two, three years from now because they're And cause switch they're them up in so many different ways with different things. And you can put your basics with things that are a little more standout-ish. Right. And it'll look like you won't even remember that I wore this last week. Right. Okay, let's get into these outfits. So, as you guys know, I stay shopping at the thrift store. So the pieces that came out of my closet are thrifted. And the first outfit that... Uh, Miss J here put together was involving this skirt here. It's a floral print and it has uh, pink and yellow and um, orange and tan. Ooh, oh, yeah, and blue that as well. That's my favorite color blue. I did a little shopping while I was here, and like I said, I'm very simple. So I got a bunch of, not a bunch, two of these little altar tops, I think they're called. Yeah. Um, like I said, super simple, doesn't look like much, but um, I knew that since this was simple, I wanted to pair it with something that was a little more complex. So then I found that skirt, and I was like, damn, yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, so where can I go with this outfit? 
Um, you could go to like a festival, you can go to a picnic, mm -hmm. um, you can go out with your family. Um, it's very cutesy, but also like casual, like the skirt is flowy, this is just very simple and fitted, yeah. um, and still super cute. So. I agree. Okay, so this next outfit, I liked all of them. I, I'm a, you guys let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite. So this one was number three, I mean number one that we just talked about. Now this next one, I haven't really decided on the favorite because I just love them all. Well, at um, the end of the team, you decide on the favorite. I know, I know you decide on the favorite. Okay, so the next one is this skirt here that I also picked up from Goodwill a while ago. And it has a gold zipper in the back. And it's blue. And it's kind of a muted blue, but I feel like depending on what I pair it with, yeah. the blue pops. Mm -hmm. Or it's subtle. Because I've, I've worn this and styled it on several different ways. So this was a skirt that, um, that Jay picked out out of my wardrobe. Um, and I paired it with this kind of mesh see-through long sleeve shirt. You'll see in the pictures. Um, and it has a cross on the front. Um, and it's, it's very lightweight mm -hmm. and simple. Um, so I feel like you can definitely, although it's long sleeve, you can definitely wear it in the yeah. summertime. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very thin. You guys see that it's see-through. Um, so it's not going to like hold heat. So you're trying to be warm the same way. <laughs> <laughs> and I think this look... You tell me what you think, but I think it's good for like a date night. Date night, going out. Um, a girls night too. Yeah, a girls yeah. night. Something like that. I'm trying to be cool and sexy. Right, definitely. <laughs> oh, and I love the pop of of red. Oh, we, we yeah. pop of our, our shoes that we paired with, with each outfit. Right, so the first outfit, it was very, you know, neutral tones for the most part. So we did a, a earth, uh, um, a nude wedged heel. Uh, it's peanut butter color. Peanut butter? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> peanut butter, which I really liked. But I also feel like since there's so many options with the colors in the skirt, you could have paired it with a different color mm -hmm. shoe as well. But I thought the one she picked was great. Yeah. And our last. But this one, the oh. shoes you wore with this one. Yeah. Uh, I picked these red shoes that she had, um, which probably doesn't doesn't sound right, but um, the red shoes mixed with the blue and the black, the red necklace. Put a red necklace, it made the blue pop. It did. In my opinion. Yeah. Um, and still, I don't know, it made everything like right. stand out. Yeah. And I, like I said, I love this skirt. I've styled it several ways and the way Jay styled it definitely allowed for the uh, the blue to pop, but I've also styled this skirt other ways to where the blue wasn't the focal, but I, I incorporated because of the texture yeah. of the skirt. So this is very like universal. Yeah. Um, and last but not least, this one I was in love with. Sounds like that's your favorite. <laughs> now, when I walked into the room and Jay had all of the outfits laid out, I was just like, okay. <laughs> she was like, she was looking like, this is not something that I will wear. Right, at all. And I was like, that's okay, because when you put it on, you could be like, ew. <laughs> sure enough. Right, and I did, myself. I didn't get my input, even though know, I had my thoughts internally, because I, I wanted to fully be her, her thing, and so I didn't give any input at all. She picked, you know, the clothes, the accessories, the shoes, all that jazz. So, um, but like she said, when I put everything on, I was like, yes, I like, where are we going? <laughs> right, where are we going? I'm cute. I need to get out the house. So anyway, the third and final look uh, incorporated these high-waisted olive green um, pants. And I just, they're kind of like, they remind me of similar to like camera type pants because they're, I don't know, they're, they're not fitted. Right. They're more wide leg. But they're not super baggy either. Yes. Um, and they're fitted like in the waist, yeah, and, and then at the ankle, at the ankle, yeah. Yeah, so it, it, it you can definitely show off your figure with this. And mm -hmm. I like the you know the stretchy waistband in the back. You know, after you didn't have lunch, you might need a little more room. <laughs> but um, I like this. And then she paired it with. I paired it with uh, the lace top that I. The sleeves are super cute. This is one of my favorites. I had this. I bought this in black and white when I bought it mm -hmm. from what I call them little no name stores. <laughs> No name stores are basically <laughs> stores that that are in the mall. They're there, you know, maybe six months to a year, and then they're gone, and then it's a whole new one. So I call them no name stores because there's no point in my names. 
right. because they don't last. Um, but they be having cute little stuff for the yes. most. So I always go to stores like those. At the beginning of this video, I didn't know which was my favorite. But although I like them all, I think this one. And with the this last one, one, we paired some simple black um, strap heels. Oh, yeah. Outfit number one was the floral skirt, and outfit number two incorporated the blue and black textured skirt, and then outfit number three incorporated the olive green high waisted pants. So, down in the comment section, you guys let me know what out which outfit was your favorite and, and i took the picture right so she, took, she took the photos if you want me to come to you and some <laughs> no. make sure you guys are following both of us on instagram because her her instagram is popping <laughs> definitely um and so is mine thanks to her she took my photos she, <laughs> she dressed me like pretty much everything um yeah but which outfit was your favorite probably the same one the olive, the, the yeah. olive green with the, with the like lace. I, I love off the shoulder stuff. Like yeah. that's just me. Like I think it's very sexy. Clavicle. And I, I don't have boobs. So if you don't have boobs, you know the neck. That's what you got. Clavicle. Oh, Jay has. <laughs> she has me cracking up because her and I have been through a, a lot of uh, ups and downs with weight. I feel like we're always on the same page. But there was a point where we were a little heavier, and she was like, "If I could just." When I see my clavicle, I will know that I have made it. <laughs> and every time I think about that, I just start cracking up. <laughs> but it's true, like when you're when you're heavier, that's that that's not showing. Yeah, no, ain't no clavicle. Sometimes ain't no neck. <laughs> like, you know, so I. I so anyway, you I, like off the shoulder because I like off the shoulder because I think it just accentuates uh, the sexiness of the top half without having to show boobs. Yeah. You know, everybody is not. One doesn't doesn't live that life, right? But you can still be sexy and still feel like you know you're sexy up here without having to show what you don't oh, have. I like, so. Or even even if you do, like I'm top heavy, but I I don't necessarily like yeah to you don't be like showing yeah. yeah so but I like but show a little shoulder a little right. classical you know and all of a sudden hey <laughs> <laughs> yes I think it's very sexy very classy so that's my go to right definitely. But that's all that we have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't let forget. us know which uh, outfit you like the best. Right. And don't forget to follow this one on social media. And my uh, Instagram is at so educated. <laughs> but that's all that I have for you guys. Bye.